Hello everyone, today I am honored to present our research findings on culture-dependent and independent approaches reveal the role of specific bacteria in human skin aging. Skin aging is a dynamic process involving a spectrum of phenotypic changes, making it an attractive model for studying microbiome phenotype interactions. Although numerous studies already confirmed the impact of chronological age in skin bacterial communities, the understanding of cross-kingdom microbiome variation with skin aging remains minimal. To investigate the interaction between the skin microbiome and phenotypes, we recruited 294 healthy individuals from Shanghai and collected 822 skin microbiome samples from the forehead, cheeks, and nose areas. Shotgun metagenomic sequencing was performed, and 14 skin phenotypes were assessed at corresponding sites. Using culture-independent methods, we examined the relationship between skin aging and the skin microbiome. Additionally, we isolated and cultured aging-related microbes and employed a two-dimensional culture system to validate their roles in aging. In addition to porphyrin, age was the most influential factor affecting bacterial variants, as shown by Permanova. We then examined bacterial dynamics across three different age groups. Overall, bacterial diversity and variants increased with age. Distance-based redundancy analysis revealed a clear separation between the different age groups. We identified 58 bacterial species associated with age, notably, Moraxella oslowensis increased with age, while Cutobacterium acnes progressively decreased. To specify phenotype-related microbial dynamics, we performed a cross-kingdom spearmans correlation analysis between the microbiome and aging phenotypes. Moraxella oslowensis was prone to aging traits, such as reduced hydration, increased lentigenes, and increased yellowish skin color. Cutobacterium acnes showed opposite trends. We further evaluated the skin phenotype-associated fungal members. Notably, many Malassezia species positively correlated with skin sebum levels. Although chronological age is central to most skin-aging phenotypes in population, one's perceived age, or following called skin age may deviate from their chronological age. An applied skin age algorithm was developed based on machine learning to assess the perceived age. We sequentially compared the differences in skin microbial composition between premature aging and delayed aging groups. Bacterial species, such as M. oslowensis, were more abundant in the premature aging group. In contrast, C. acnes was enriched in the delayed aging group. M. oslowensis and C. acnes were significantly correlated with age and skin aging phenotypes. To further explore the host microbe interactions potentially underlying these associations, we performed RNA-seq and RT-PCR analysis of human epidermal keratinocyte and primary dermal fibroblasts with supernatants from the above commensals. Treatment with the Moraxella oslowensis culture supernatant in Hossi AT cells showed clear enrichment of DEGs regulating the collagen catabolic process, extracellular matrix disassembly, and collagen metabolic process in the geo analysis. RTQPCR results showed a marked upregulation in the RNA expression of various MMPs. In human skin primary fibroblasts, genes associated with cell senescence were significantly upregulated. Compared with its significant impact on the bacterial community, age had a minor effect on the variation in the fungal community. However, there were still some differences in fungal composition between the different age groups. Fungal alpha diversity in the aged group was higher than in the young group. PicoA analysis revealed that the grouping of fungal communities by age was statistically significant. We identified age-related fungal taxa by Wilcoxon Ranksum test. Altogether, the current research has moved beyond the question of which microbes are present on the skin to assess the link between their function and outcome on the skin. We systematically characterized the Skin Microbiome Phenome Association Network, especially the aging phenotypes. Furthermore, we validated some predicted associations with in vitro functional experiments, as a deep understanding of the molecular pathways underlying the aging process is critical in searching for products that target skin microbiota to improve skin phenotypes.